um, conference type planning. And so my time is spread very thin. And as I mentioned earlier, I think if Wordly wasn't so easy to integrate and so accessible, it probably wouldn't have been as easy for me to really incorporate it into my work. But because it, you know, and Dave, you did mention a lot of this earlier, but just to sort of recap, because there is no special like sound booths at our conference, we're able to just link it to a virtual session or, you know, as we're hybrid um, this year, we'll still be streaming things. So it's easy to just connect that stream um, into the Wordly platform. Uh, the setup that, you know, if you have to set it up for individual meetings, you can, but there's also a feature where you can do a setup that's sort of a one and done, and you can have it in place in your Zoom account, and it's there and ready to go for every meeting you open. Um, the different variety of languages and the closed captioning or the ability to have the written and the um, audio version of translation. And then, as I mentioned, the glossary, um, that has been really helpful, and that's something that I would say we've also kind of grown into. So maybe the first year we used Wordly, I didn't utilize it as much, but as we got more feedback from the community about what specific words they were hearing that weren't quite translating, we've really been able to hone that down. So it's something that I would say, um, you know, you'll fine tune and improve accuracy with over time. And then the affordability. So, you know, our organization as a nonprofit and um, as responsible stewards for the funds that our families raise are always very critical of uh, new costs that we bring in to our operating budget. And Wordly has been very sustainable for us. The fact that we've been able to use all of the different languages they offer at one price, um, the fact that we're able to sign a contract for, you know, a significant number of hours and get them at a little bit of a discounted rate, um, those things have all made a huge impact in how we've been able to really maintain our worldly use um, with the volume that we experience of hours over the years. So, all right. I think, yeah, with that, Kirk, I'll hand it back to you. Well, th thank you so much, Hope. Uh, we I really appreciate all that you shared about um, IFOPA and the community that you're serving. And we are really feel honored that Wordly has been able to be a part of you being able to connect a community that uh, really needed to be able to connect worldwide. Uh, so, so what I'm going to do now is uh, kind of shift gears a little bit to talk about um, how how we actually use Wordly in, in practice and in terms of you know the the logistics that you see. Um, and so here's just a, a basic uh, idea of the Wordly demo. So so Lexi's had it Wordly running since the beginning of the session. Uh, so you were able to join uh, via the uh, live link, or if you have, you can also, there's a, a Wordly app for Zoom uh, that you can join via. I'm actually gonna go ahead and invite everybody if you wanna see that, uh, to be able to see it in action, you can join the, via that. Now for in-person meetings, uh, we typically suggest people use their mobile phones and uh, that you scan a QR code like what we've shown here. So this is the QR code for this live session. Uh, these instructions that you see are automatically uh, generated for you. So you don't necessarily even have to go, go and build them yourself where you can scan the QR code, choose the language you wish to attend, and then you can either read along or listen along. If you do, are you gonna listen along on your mobile phone? You will need to use your headset. So that's how we are able to provide Wordly for both in-person and virtual events, the virtual as I invited you, as well as the in-person via the QR codes. Now, it, it works, uh, you know, it's very easy as, as uh, Hope described um, for the event organizer. Uh, if you are using in a virtual platform, we, we integrate with many. If you're using this in person, it literally has Wordly connect directly into uh, the sound system. We'll get it. We'll get to that in a little bit, um, but we are able to have you set up literally in minutes uh, to be able to use a session. Uh, turning on, like for instance, the Zoom integration uh, takes four clicks once you're set up uh, that you can now add translation into 31 languages to all of your all of your Zoom sessions, uh, similar with other platforms. It's very easy for the attendees to join, as you saw, as you scan a QR 